Hey everybody, this is the year to get your brain healthy. This is the year of memory. My new book, Memory Rescue, just came out. I have a show on public television uh, that is, I think it's already aired 5,000 times across North America. And the response has been overwhelming because what it does is it gives you hope that there are things you can do to keep your brain healthy or even rescue it if you think it's headed for trouble. One of the reasons I wanted to do the live chat today is there's a brand new study out uh, from our friends at UCLA looking at curcumin, uh, which uh, comes from the spice turmeric, which they make curry from, that 90 milligrams of a specific preparation of curcumin twice a day over time showed a significant improvement in memory. The other really interesting thing that the study showed, and this is in humans, this isn't a mice study. You know, anytime you see a mouse study, you should always be suspicious because humans are not mice, right? The human brain, 30% of your brain is the prefrontal cortex, unless of course you played football growing up and it hurt some of it, I did, bad for your brain. Um, but for mice, it's like 1% of their brain. So I always trust human studies more than animal studies. And in this study, they had a placebo controlled group um, and a curcumin group. The curcumin group showed significant improvements on cognitive tests related to memory. But the really interesting thing, and they did PET scans, uh, which are similar to spec scans that we do here at Amen Clinics. And on the after scans in the curcumin group, they actually saw decrease in abnormal uptake in the hippocampus, the brain's major memory structure, and the amygdala, which is often involved in anxiety and depression. When the amygdala is abnormal, we can get angry, we can get irritable, we can get negative, we can get frightened, and curcumin really helped that. Now, I got really interested in curcumin a number of years ago when I read the research that said it decreased inflammation. And there's another study that showed, at least in a Petri dish, that curcumin plus vitamin D started to break up the plaques, beta amyloid plaques, thought to be involved in why memory goes awry. And so um, last year we actually launched our own um, brain curcumins, one capsules 500 milligrams of a very special form called Long Vita that is actually more easily absorbed. Most people who take curcumins, you actually have to take a little bit of black pepper with it so that it'll absorb better. You don't have to do it with this. I actually take three of them a day because it helps my knees. Uh, you know, I said I played football. Not only is that bad for your brain, it's super bad for your knees. And I tore my ACL when I was in college. So, um, this is just, it's part of my pain regimen, along with omega-3 fatty acids and SAMe. So something for you to check out. And when you think of your brain, the whole idea behind memory rescue is if you wanna keep your brain healthy or rescue it if you think it's headed for trouble, you have to prevent or treat the 11 major risk factors that steal your mind. And those of you that have been on my page or you got Memory Rescue, you know I created a mnemonic called Bright Minds that helps you remember those. So B is for blood flow, R is retirement and aging, I is inflammation, G is genetics, and so on. So curcumin, for each of the risk factors, I go, well, what are the supplements that can help support um, that risk factor, like inflammation, so it's omega-3 fatty acids, 
curcumins and also probiotics because if your gut is healthy, you're less likely to have inflammation in your body. So I hope you check both of these out and I want you to ask this one question every day. You want to keep your brain healthy? I want you to ask this one question every day. Is what I'm going to do today good for my brain or bad for it? And if you love yourself, you're going to answer in the right way.